beyond the red planet Mars and the colossal gas giant Jupiter, one of the most iconic worlds within our solar system can be found. Saturn is probably the second most recognisable planet after Earth because of its magnificent ringlets, and although the other gas giants possess ring systems, none could match the size nor beauty of Saturn's. Saturn is the second largest planet in the solar system, and is often compared to Jupiter due to their similar atmospheric compositions, which is mostly hydrogen and helium. Over the years, the gas giant has been visited by various missions, but most recently by the Cassini spacecraft that orbited the ringed world 294 times, sending back data for 13 years before finally plunging directly into Saturn's thick clouds back in September 2017. Because of the valuable information gathered by Cassini and other spacecrafts, scientists have a greater understanding of Saturn's internal structure and composition. So let's jump back into our science fiction spacesuits and dive directly into Saturn to see what might lurk deep below the gas giant's mysterious cloud tops. Like the other gas giants that we have already explored, this mission would be impossible for any human being, so let's assume that we have been equipped with special science fiction spacesuits, suits that will take us all the way to the planet's core. As you fall towards Saturn, you would get an incredible view of the planet's magnificent ring system that is made up of billions of tiny ice and rock particles, along with large scattered boulders. You would initially be descending at a similar speed to if you were falling towards Earth, as Saturn's gravity is only 7% greater than the gravity on our planet. You would soon fall through the bright, white clouds of ammonia crystals, where the temperature would be around minus 130 degrees Celsius, with a pressure of around 1 atmosphere, which is the atmospheric pressure at sea level on Earth. Eventually, you would reach the bottom of the ammonia clouds and enter into the second layer, dark brown ammonium hydrosulfide and ammonium sulfide clouds. Here, you would experience pressures of between 2 to 4 atmospheres and a temperature of around minus 100 degrees Celsius. As you fall ever deeper through this layer, you would start to notice your surroundings becoming darker as the sun's light cannot penetrate to this depth, but by using your special science fiction space helmet, you can now see what's around you. Violent winds would be whipping past you at speeds of up to 1,100 miles per hour, as Saturn experiences some of the fastest winds ever detected in the solar system. Without your special suit, you would be ripped apart, but thankfully it keeps you steady and allows you to continue into the abyss. After falling for about 140 miles, you have finally reached the bottom of this hellish layer and are now entering the region of towering dark water ice clouds. Static electricity would generate huge arcs of lightning that could be seen flashing all around you as you plummet through these terrifying cloud decks. At this stage, the pressure would have risen to around 10 atmospheres, but would also be rapidly increasing. Over two hours into your journey, and you would have fallen roughly 250 miles into Saturn. Now the strange environment that you find yourself in is starting to become really extreme, with the temperature drastically increasing to around 100 degrees Celsius, as you slowly enter into an area where hydrogen and helium is liquefying under immense pressure. The atmosphere around you would become much thicker, eventually slowing your descent as your density equals out with the environment. But because your suit is extremely high tech, it allows you to continue so that you can see what lies beneath. After sinking for many hours, you would be roughly 20,000 miles inside of Saturn, and you would have reached the region of metallic hydrogen at pressures of up to 2 million atmospheres. 
Here, temperatures would increase to around 9,000 degrees Celsius, causing your surrounding environment to glow white hot. This magnificent ocean of metallic hydrogen is what generates Saturn's huge magnetic field. Possibly after weeks of sinking, you would have now travelled around 35,000 miles into Saturn, when suddenly you hit the planet's core. A surface of compressed rock, iron and exotic ices that could possibly be about twice the size of Earth. At this stage, you would have completed your mission and your adventure would come to an end. You would be stranded, alone and unable to escape, with your suit having to withstand colossal temperatures of above 12,000 degrees Celsius and immense pressures of up to 10 million atmospheres.